Hey everybody, it's time for Cheap Eats, and I am the original Ralph. And I am the old Steve. Remarkable. And we're at 3rd and Fairfax at the original Farmer's Market. Yes. And this is a, a historic place. Been here for 70, 80 years. Yes. You know, Dupar's is here. It's been here for one of the early stores oh, in, yeah. the, in, the, in the late 30s. Yes. Great breakfasts. It's got that secret pancake buttermilk oh, recipe. I can't wait. I can't wait. And then for lunch, gumbo pot. Cajun, Cajun, Cajun. And then what's the name of that little coffee place? Well, that tiny little place is fantastic. It's called Zia Valentina. What are those little teeny cups and the chocolate in it? Man, wow! Edible we, cups. We're going to have a great time. Oh, let's start now. So you guys come with us and come let's on. try eating for a while. Around the world. Hey everybody, we are at 3rd and Fairfax at the original Farmer's Market, but why? We're at the iconic Dupar's. This is a place that's been making pancakes for longer than I've been around. No way! You know, and we should go in there and flip, flop, and flip and have a great breakfast. I'm gonna have And some coffee. Coffee? I'm gonna have some French toast. And come on, come I'm on. gonna have an omelet. And I'm gonna have some bread. I'm gonna have and some. I have the best seat in the house. I'm sitting here with Veronica. Who are you? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'm Veronica. I'm the president of Dupars. Dupars is like an iconic institution in Los Angeles. We've been here since the farmer's market opened. And when you say here, we're talking about right here in the farmer's right here, market? At the farmer's market. Location. I, I understand this was the, the opening store for the farmer's market in 1938. 77 this year, if I'm correct. 77 years in one, one spot. That's fantastic. And I'm looking at a menu from 1938. Can I order from this? Um, not today, but you were able to do it on the 75th anniversary. Well, that was, that's been a couple of years already. So, I, years so you're telling me that I, I can't order the split pea soup for 15 cents? Not today. Well, that's <laughs> too bad, but you know, we're here for breakfast. What, what, what do we have for breakfast? What's really good here? Uh, we're known for the pancakes. Pancakes, yes. Same recipe since 1938. 1938. Secret recipe. Where do you keep the secret recipe? I don't even know what's in it, but it's in that safe. It's in a safe inside, right here in the building? Yeah. This is the original secret recipe? But nobody knows how to open it. Nobody knows how to open the safe? So how, 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 do you, how do you make pancakes? <laughs> it's a secret. Yeah, I, I guess so. Uh, okay, other than pancakes, what, what should we get? Well, we do everything fresh. Yes. From scratch, we crack the eggs to for the omelets. Yes. We chop the, the veggies, everything. This sounds great. And you know what? I think Steven's in the kitchen doing all of those things. Maybe we should repair there to the kitchen. What do you think? Sure. Let's oh. help him. Yeah, let's go. Here we are in the secret kitchen. And I'm with Walter, who's the chef. We're going to take the secret recipe and we're gonna make some of the pancakes, right? Yeah. So for 10 years you've been doing this, right? Yeah. If I twist your arm, can I get the secret out of you? No, you can't. Oh my goodness. It's not that easy. With a face like this, I'm sure I can get it out of it. <laughs> okay. All right, so What's what are we doing now? Okay, so um, I'll show you how to do it, and then you have to do it. Okay, okay. all right. Then we're gonna start. Okay. So what's in the batter? Uh, there is the uh, secret recipe, uh, flour. Uh, we put some um, eggs, buttermilk. Okay, well, let me try that. That may okay. be enough. Mm -hmm. No, that's no. too hard. <laughs> Gentle with love. So how do I know when it's ready to twist? When it starts, the bones are coming up. Okay, so uh, they are the meat. Uh, they're ready to be flipped. Oh, okay. Now, mine look a little more creative. Oh, yeah. Yours look a little more <laughs> edible. Okay. Okay, now I'm coming down into it, and I'm going up, and is it in the wrist, or is it just like that? Oh, uh, the wrist. Let me show look. me. Okay, I'll show you with uh, oh, a... Oh, a Look. Oh! Oh, 
And we're going to go through the tradition of making the bread. Right, that's right. This is all homemade here. That's so, right. So we've got a pile of what here? That will be the dough for the bread. So this, you put this together, correct? That's right. And now what do we do with it? Uh, for now, it's going to cut it into portion size, and we're going to roll it. OK, so and this is what we use? That's right. Right. I don't know. Is this like a like a karate move or no? Uh, this is used for? Once in a while, we use it. OK, all right, so it's either self-defense weapon or for rolling bread. For right? rolling bread. All right. Be. Well, let, let's see it. Let's see how it works. And what are you doing? Right now, we're cutting it to portion size. OK. Just rolling up this little ball. All right. All right. So the uh, reason is sprinkle a little bit of flour on the table so the dough itself will get stuck there. And then, then the next part's the fun part, which is you start rolling the bread. You stretch right. it so out. Take it like this. That's right. All right. So roll it back and forth. Oh, my goodness. It looks like Donald Duck. I know, right? <laughs> now what? All righty, from there, we... Uh... Am I doing that right? You're doing it right. First time here. in my life I've rolled <laughs> red right. OK, now what? All righty, from, from here, we fold it opposite ways. We flatten it out just a bit more. And fold it up. Stretch okay. it up again. Oi! Mm. Okay. All right. Let well, me see you do that. I said it a little different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. Okay. All right. So that's and, and then we put it in a pan, right? That's right. And how long is it in the pan? It's in the pan for 40 minutes. And how long is it sitting to roll and get it right? Uh, for 30 minutes and then 40 minutes in the oven. And then we take it over and we put it in the oven, right? That's right. You know, I'm going to take the, this massive stack of pancakes, or five of them, and I'm going to put on the, the boysenberry homemade, handmade stuff. And I have just taken a bite of the hand-grated, homemade hash browns that are crispy on the outside. It's perfectly tender on the inside. And it's standing next to my omelet here. Bacon and cheese and a big bite. Bacon's crispy. How did you get crispy bacon inside such a fluffy omelet? The beautiful cheese, and it's just fantastic. I love it. Poached eggs. Eggs, traditional eggs benedict sauce, but it's freshly made here. Just fantastic. I love it. Got to try the bread. That's a religious experience, because I saw it rising. You know what? This looks like it's homemade, because it is. And homemade peach jam. This is heaven. For you people who love bread, like I love bread, this is heaven. I've got freshly squeezed orange juice. And by the way, all the juices are freshly squeezed there. Including my tomato. Cheers. Well, oh, I am. Wow, we can't drive after this. <laughs> We are here in New Orleans. You know, we're at the gumbo pot. I hear there are gators here. Yes, actually, we're in the original farmer's market. But let's have something to eat. I think I'm going to chase those gators, baby. Let's go. We're at the gumbo pot with Clint, the owner. How'd you get in this business? Oh, uh, it's a long story. I started as a delivery boy. 
How many years ago did you start here? 22 years ago. 22 years? Actually, over 22 years ago. Well, you were the Uber of that day, huh? Yes, yes, yes. All right. So now you own the place. Yes, I do. And this place has been here for a long time. Tell me about the recipes and stuff. It's, it's New Orleans, correct? Yes, it is. It is New Orleans food. Um, for example, the shrimp po' boy is one of our big seller. Um, the other one would be the gumbo yaya. It's really, really nice. You have shrimp, sausage, and chicken in there. Yaya! Yeah. Yes. Now, do you, you make all the ingredients? Yes, we make everything fresh every morning. We all do it right sauces? here. Yes, we do wow. it here every morning. You know, I used to, when I was in New Orleans, I used to be afraid of the alligators. You got gators around here? Yes, we do. You, you do? You're you don't, kidding. You don't need to afraid no more. We eat those now. We eat? Yes. I can get gator here? Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow, this is going to be fantastic. Yes, we do. Yes, we do the gator gumbos. Excellent. OK. And it, how did you get into New Orleans style? I was a delivery boy, and I find a job here at the gumbo pot, and I just fall in love with it. And now you've got your family here? And yes. You, you know, my daughter and my sons, they come and work on the summertime. Yeah. And, and, and uh, the, the gator, and what's another unique dish that you have here? Frog legs. Frog legs? Oh, frog legs is good. You know what we should do? We should go into the kitchen, and we should see Ralph and Clint make the poor boy. Yes. Let's do it. Clinton, we're gonna make a shrimp po' boy. Is that, that's what's up, up in the order here? Yes, sir. Okay, so the first thing we do is we grab some, some shrimp. Um, shrimp, a handful. And we'll put it in there. Oh, that feels great. That's so comfortable. Yes. All right, and now, what did I just dip that in? You just dip it with the eggs. Okay, good. And, and now I drop it in here carefully yes. so that they can spread out a little bit. Oh, you can just drop it in. Just oh, drop it okay, in. Okay, it's in. Because this is gonna be your spreader. Okay. Yeah, you shake it. Yeah. Shake it inside so you, yes. How am I doing? You're doing good. OK. You got natural. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then, and then you just career. put it right here. OK, now I put this. This is going right to, a, a yes. basket that's going to go deep. Deep fry deep at 350 fry, yeah. degrees for three minutes. OK, and there it goes. Yeah. OK, we got the bread. It's cut. Yeah. Scooped out. There and we go. And I take, well, now what is this? this Garlic mayonnaise, very delicious this looks flavor. Delicious. They put it on both sides. Okay. The shrimp is ready to go. It's ready already? Ready and ready. How do I get from there to there? Well, that's why we have the tongue right here. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll let you do it. Sure. And I'll tell you what, let's bring the bread closer. Okay. Yeah, we want to minimize the travel there distance you go. for the shrimp. The folks on the other side of the camera can't smell how good this is. It smells delicious. Yeah. OK, I got one. It's trying to get away. I got it. OK, good. Good. OK. Put a little bit of lettuce. OK. And you put tomatoes. There's and more, some right? lemons. Lemons. And then you flip it over. OK. And it you is... cut it in on a 45 degree angle. It is now flipped. Oh, man. Whenever you need a job, you can always come and work here. Be you know here that. first thing in the morning. Yes. OK, Clinton. Shrimp po' boy. Po' and, boy up. And since you do such a good job, yes. I got you got to have some beignets. Some beignets. Yes. That's worth the effort, I yes. promise you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. You're you. welcome. Okay. OK, Clinton, what, a, what is this? Beignets, uh, French no, donuts. No, no, no. I know what beignets look like. They don't look like that. Oh, man, they do. They do. And it tastes really good. This is. The gumbo pot specialty. In New Orleans, they give you three. Yes. In LA, we give you four. It's because we're so far west. There you go. See? See? So now what are you doing? We drop it in the oil at 360 degrees. They're free floating in oil. Yes. And we fry for about three minutes, golden brown. Okay. With pour the sugar up there. And they just float right up to the top. Look That's at that. That's it. That's it. Mmm. So now it's finished. I'm going to okay. take it out. Oh, they look good. They come over here. OK. And you be very generous. Do not hold back. They're disappearing in a, yeah. in a cloud of 
powdered sugar. That's beautiful. Would you look at look that? Look at it. Would you look at that? Mmm. Can't get any fresher than that. Like 15 seconds out of the oil. <laughs> this is fantastic. Thank you, Clinton. You're welcome, sir. I'm gonna eat this now. Uh, that's the reason why I make it feel. Absolutely. You know, I brought Clint here because he's an expert in this Louisiana type food. That's good. In New Orleans. Because I've got some gumbo yaya here. What's in it? You have the andouille sausage in there. Yeah. You taste a little bit of that. You bet I do. You also have the chicken. Very tender, very, very tender. What else is in there? Last but not least, shrimp. I love shrimp. And this got the sweet spice, a serious sweet spice to it. Really delicious. Well, I've got the poor boy here, Mr. Expert. And uh, what, what do I have in it? Well, you have the shrimp. Yeah, I can taste that. Garlic mayonnaise. Garlic mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Tastes like it's been made by hand. Yes, it is. And then it's got tomatoes and lettuce. Yes. It comes together like a sunrise. Sound good. Do I see frog legs? Yes, it is frog legs. And pink remoulade? Pink remoulade sauce. Very beautiful. And then you're going to tell me the secret of the sauce, right? Unfortunately. No. <laughs> no that's too bad. You know what I'd like to do since you're an expert? Yes. I think we ought to, you ought to show me how to eat these uh, mm. crawfish. Okay. First of all, you start out by remove the body from the head. Got the body from the head. Now, now, now what you do is you hand it over here, and I go like this. So you let me do the work for you. <laughs> hey, 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 I love it. There, you know, there could be a living in this. Yeah. <laughs> Great place here in LA. Fantastic. LA. I thought we were in New Orleans, but you're right. I'm this back is, in this, LA. This is the original farmers market in Los Angeles. Oh my gosh, what's this? Dice beignets. Should I take a bite? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna try this one because it it's, looks it's calling my name. You know. This is really a lot of mm. fun. You all should come out here and try this. Clint, you're marvelous. And I love the way you suck the heads off of these things oh, here. Oh, you too much. <laughs> Clint, thank you very much. We love this place. Thanks. OK, I am delighted to have a conversation here with Maritza. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. And and you are to the farmer's market what? I am the marketing and tourism specialist. This is for the original farmer's market? That's right. That's a great title. So what do you, what do, you do? Uh, wow, well we, our department is small, but we handle all of our special events that yes. we have year round. Yeah. Um, we oversee all of the advertising and PR, merchant relations. This is a serious part of Los Angeles, 1934. Since 1934. Yes. Uh, and we've been wandering around a little bit. Where are we now? Uh, we're right next to our newest produce stand. This is Greenhouse Produce. This is beautiful. It is. It's wonderful. And Greenhouse actually um, is specializing in organic and locally sourced produce. Yeah, I can see the sign. It says organic. That's, right. that's great. So what other places do you do you see in the in this wonderful iconic part of LA history? Wow, well there are roughly over a hundred different shops, grocers, and restaurants here. Wow. Yes, there's plenty to do. It, it really is a one-stop shop where you can come and buy your groceries, you can grab some lunch yeah, and yeah, dinner, yeah, you can yeah. go and get a haircut, get your eyes examined. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I know the original farmer's market. I was actually born really close by here. Uh, but what was here before 1934? Well, that's a great question. There's a lot of history that lives here on the property. Um, the, the, the family that actually owns and runs the farmer's market yes. um, is the Gilmore family. The original Gilmore family. The original Gilmore family. Another part of LA history. That is correct. Yeah. And um, the Gilmore family actually settled here in the late 1800s. And this actually used to be a dairy farm. Dairy farm. However, yeah. um, Right around the turn of the century in the early 1900s, as um, AF, um, the original founder, as AF was drilling for water on the property, he yes. struck oil. Oh, that ruined everything. It sure did. It sure did. And so um, it quickly went from being a dairy farm to an oil field. Yes. And uh, the, uh, the Gilmore Oil Company was established, and they were the largest independent distributor of gasoline and oil products on the West Coast. And now it has even evolved to its highest level, which is the original farmer's market. That's correct. That's correct. So what do you see about the, the future? Well, you know, I think that the market's going to live another, you know, 100 plus years, even more. I probably won't be around for that, oh, but, you know. You, know. you never know. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> That's true. You never know. Yeah. But, um, but I have 
have no doubt that the market's going to continue to thrive for many, many, many uh, years to come. But, you know, the more that the market changes, the more it stays the same. Oh, that's a lovely thought. And it's such a lovely market, too. Thank you so much for visiting You're with welcome. us today. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. Hey, everybody. We are here at Zia Valentina. Let's get some of that Italian coffee and that slush of Grenada stuff. It's got chocolate in it. It's in these little edible cups. Edible cups? Yeah. And they're, they're, their aunt was from Sicily. We ought to go in and check it out. I'm ready. Let's go. Well, here we are with Naomi. How are you? Fine, thank you. And we are at Zia Valentina, yes. which is what? Zia. Who knows what this place is? So Zia um, in Italian means aunt, and it's named after our great aunt from Sicily. Okay. The whole idea is that she lived on a farmland, and everything was very farm to table. So all of the ingredients we source are as natural as can be, or either local or from Italy. Our product is actually an eco-friendly product. Yes. We serve um, espresso in it, and we source our beans from Italy. Yes, yes, so yes. So we serve Italian espresso in this amazing waffle shot, which is a waffle cone coated in chocolate. That's what it is. Yes. A waffle, and it's, what do you mean, coated in chocolate? So the inside is coated in chocolate. Yeah. And then the rims are dipped. Dipped in what? So it depends on which flavor. You have a... What are my choices? <laughs> So you have a bittersweet chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate, s'mores, Nutella. Our Nutella has Nutella on the bottom and cocoa nibs on the rim. I got a lot of choices. You have a ton of choices. Okay, so I hear eco-friendly. What, what does that mean in this, to be yeah. this? So normally you get a hot beverage at a coffee shop and there's my Roll New York accent. Yep. And it's in a paper cup right. and then you throw it out at the end and you also have a plastic lid. Yes. Here, you just eat your cup and there's no waste the ultimate eco-friendly way to drink and eat your cup. So it's not disposable, it's edible. It's edible, exactly. Well, that's even better. Exactly, that's exactly. That's fantastic. So we have the waffle cone, yes. and then we hand coat them with chocolate or insert a filling. Where do you do this? So we have a kitchen facility in downtown LA. So, you act, so this is not only just your design and your right. store, this is actually, you, you manufacture, you make yes. this stuff. Yes, and my oh, sister and wonderful. I, have definitely developed an appreciation for yes. the art and science behind chocolate yes. because there's so much that goes into it and it's really an artistry. We hand craft every single one. We hand fill them, hand coat them and it's, it's a really unique product. Oh, it sounds delicious. I have got to try that. It's delicious. Who came up with this idea? My sister and I. So this is a family business. Yes. But you do more than just coffee in these in these right. cups. What, what else? So we also do something called granita. So granita comes from Sicily. Yes. Um, but we gave it a healthy twist. So it's kind of like a healthy gourmet version of a slushy. We use all natural fresh ingredients yeah. and no sugar in our granitas. Wow. So I, I, I come here and I I have the coffee and then I eat the cup? Exactly. Oh God, I want to try this. Um, Would you like to try one? Maybe. Do you want to make one? May, maybe Solomon can help you out with okay, it. Okay, great. I, he loves that stuff. I'm with the co-owner, Dorit. You know, the amazing part of the stuff, I heard you and Ralph and everybody just looking and talking, your sister, how many calories in all this stuff? So each waffle shot has about 120 calories. Wow, really, nothing. It's a light pick-me-up. Okay, and so we're gonna be making an espresso, right? We are, you're doing great. Okay, so I've tapped it down, I okay. can't, it won't come out of my hand. You sure you got, oh. You sure it's, uh, okay, okay, there we go. All right, do you want to do the honors, or? No, I'll let you do it. You look good at it. Okay, let's see. It yeah. usually looks easier. Should I call a plumber? <laughs> we might need a plumber. All right, we got it. You sure? Okay. Okay. Should I put the shot under here? So you want to put the shot under here, that little spout. Okay. Exactly. And, and you then, do the honors? Now I'm pushing the magic button. Okay, okay here we go. Technology at work. So beautiful. Wow. So now we've got the espresso coming down into the chocolate cup. Wow! It's amazing. Whoa. It's, Scientific work, right? It's, now, it is. Art and science. 
So this is good for my heart because it's chocolate. It is. It's espresso, so it's got to be great for me. It will help your adrenaline. You'll be happy. Oh, yeah. I need a little more speed. OK. So now we've got the. It's melting the chocolate. Ooh. See? Ooh, look at it. Ooh. There's science to this. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Would you marry me? This is fabulous. <laughs> I love this. Fantastic. Wow. Now we're going to do the, what are we going to do? We're going to do granitas. And, and what are they? They're Italian gourmet slush. They're Italian gourmet slushies. From Sicily. From Sicily. So if I don't like it, you're going to kill me. We might have to. Oh, my goodness. Hope you, you know, like it. You'll take me in the back room with her maid. I will. Whoa. <laughs> OK. So. Who makes these? We make them fresh daily in the back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and what's in it? This one, tropical mango, has real mangoes, real bananas. And? Berry Berry has fresh berries. Hawaiian nectar has fresh pineapple. And these good for you? It's very good for you. It's all natural. OK, natural with chocolate. I've got to be bad. I'm going to try one. Which one are you going to try? I'm going to try the Berry Berry. OK, I'm going for the Hawaiian nectar. All right. Well, Push that go. in. Let me help you. Ready? Here we go. All right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. That's really damn good. What a fantastic day. Yeah, breakfast at Dupar's. Yes, and then gumbo pot for fantastic Cajun. And Zia Valentina for these exciting drinks. And what you got? I've got mango. Mm. And you guys come along with us next time. Remember, keep watching and eating for cheap eats. How about this hot chocolate mm. and red velvet? I love it. I got mango <laughs> all over me. You should do.